Hello. Today we are here to talk about the challenges and the ways to overcome the challenges in the modern data centers. If we take a look at the legacy data centers, data centers that we are hearing, seeing today in the industry and the one that probably we are going to see in the future are always the same. Three main points are operability, visibility and security. So let's start with operability. So what is different than what we are doing today than what we were doing yesterday? So first, the whole architecture of the data center is slightly different. We have spine switches, we have leaf switches, but the challenge is that these switches actually support APIs and API integrations. What does that give us is, it is a way to implement the orchestration engines inside of the data center. When we have an or orchestration engine, it gives us the API capabilities to integrate this orchestration engine with almost anything inside of the data center. It also gives us the GUI access. Now, I know that most of the networking guys doesn't like a GUI access, but also from an operability point of view and reducing the operational effort, it is good to have a clear dashboards, graphs, and so on, which you can look and see where exactly in your environment you're observing packet loss, jitter, or delay. What APIs will bring you is actually a capability to integrate this engine with, as I said, other security products or network infrastructure products in your environment. Let's say that you have a next generation firewall here. What we can do by integrating the APIs of orchestration engine and next generation firewall is actually we will have a capability to route the traffic from one physical host to another physical host, even if they are in the same subnet through the next generation firewall. How is that happening? By this or orchestration engine actually programming the underlying code in the leaf switches to reroute the traffic towards the next generation firewall. We can actually achieve something similar by integrating again the APIs of the orchestration engine, for example, with the our virtual environment. On this way, even the VMs inside of the data center, inside of the VM hosts, will actually be micro-segmented if we want it. From visibility perspective, what is that new that we are seeing on the market that brings the value today what there was not there before? So first, we need to think about the packets. When we are talking about the center, data center, it's always about the packets and we know the packet doesn't lie. So what we need is to accumulate all the packets across the environment to a single place from where we can inspect those packets. What we can do is actually implement technology called packet brokers. When packet brokers are implemented, what we can do is actually send span traffic from all the switches towards the packet broker. The first challenge is right there. If our switches were not chosen properly on the beginning, all the zone span session will actually impact the CPU and the memory of the switches itself. If we choose the vendor properly on the beginning, this challenge is not there. Uh, on the other way, we can achieve similar functionality but impl in by implementing taps all across the environment and pulling again the span traffic to the packet broker. Let's say now that traffic is here, in the packet broker and what we want to do with it. We want to connect all our visibility toolkit to the same place. We can, in that way, we can actually implement uh, packet capture mechanisms, we can uh, packet analysis, DLP, uh, network behavior anomalies, whichever tool we want, which will actually inspect the east-west traffic, but also the packets that are flowing through the whole environment. In order to achieve a better visibility, the functionalities that we need to have on the packet broker itself is SSL decryption, because obviously most of the traffic in the modern data center are fully encrypted. We also want to achieve data masking, the functionality that is extremely important for the whole banking sector, because whenever we send the traffic from packet brokers to the packet analysis toolkits or packet analyzers, the challenge is that those packets actually will contain the data that is most important to our customers. In the banking industry, data masking will actually help us to hide maybe names, allies names, or maybe the credit card information as well. 
On that way, the data from here, from this layer, can be easily sent to the principal vendors for tax support or any other, other company without uh, um, afraid that the data will be exposed. On the other way, one more functionality that we would like to have on the packet broker is dead duplication mechanisms. Why dead duplication is important? Because when we remove the extra packets, the duplicated packets, our infrastructure here in our visibility layer will actually give us the purest possible data. We will not have duplicate packets, we will not have multiple ways to see the same thing. So basically the data will be as pure as possible and easy for us to analyze or for, a, for example, network behavior analysis tool to identify the threats or malicious behavior. On the other way, the third thing that we always look on the newest data centers are obviously security. So what we can do with security in these environments? We can implement something which is called the zero trust model. And what is the zero trust model? So this is a concept where we apply the same security controls to whichever traffic comes to the data center itself. We spent millions on creating uh, amazingly complex and expensive security parameters. But now the fact is that most of the tracks are coming from inside. So when we talk about zero trust, we basically are talking about the concept where we are going to apply the same security controls to the traffic, doesn't matter if it's coming from the internet or from the inside of the data center. In real life, that maybe means that we will implement one more set of web application firewalls um, to protect the applications, but also what we can do is protect the APIs that other applications consume to communicate between themselves. Also, if you are talking about the data that is being uploaded to the web application firewalls, to the backend where the crown jewels of our data is, we need to make sure the data is always secure. So what does that mean? That means that the files needs to be validated and inspected not to be malicious. On that way, we can actually integrate web application firewalls with malware analysis engines. We can do this through the APIs or through native integrations. That means whenever the user actually uploads the data that goes through the WAF and goes directly to the backend in the database where it will be stored and utilized in the future, we make sure that the data that is being stored in the database in the backend is clean from malicious uh, files, from malicious threats. If you want to hear more about the ways how we can enhance the operability in the data center, how we can enhance the visibility, as well as the security, how we can integrate multiple products in your data center, how we can achieve automation and reduce your operational overhead, please reach out to us. We would like to speak with you and we would like to share many more ideas that we have about this topic.